every Sunday who need assistance for filing for the unemployment that they deserve? You thought this bosses will lie and tell you that you are not entitled to unemployment? Uh, as a matter of fact, almost always you are if you have been let go for any reason under the pandemic. They just don't want to pay you because they still have to pay you if you're unemployed. So we are at Bounce, Milwaukee, which is at 2801 South 5th Court from 12 to 4 p.m. every Sunday. We'll be there tomorrow. If you need help, if you know anybody that needs help, uh, have them show up. Or you can reach out to us at contact.ucmke at gmail.com. And if you want to talk to me after this, uh, I can take down your information, uh, and we can work something out. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's who I am. That's who I'm with. Uh, we got a number of our members out here today. Um, so I just want to talk about Amazon a little bit, and I want to talk about the people who are working at Amazon in Bessemer that are trying to form this union. So last year, during the pandemic, Amazon managed to make $13.3 billion in profits. The, uh, all the while, with all these profits, the organizers, the primarily black organizers at Be Bessemer, Alabama, have revealed some of the most uh, oppressive and dangerous working conditions that Americans have had to face to date. Now this is why they're organizing, about 6,000 of them trying to form a union. And it's sad to think that cool. this isn't just an isolated situation. There are workplaces all across the country, all different fields of work that are dealing with uh, mismanagement, uh, safe environment, safe work environment, poor compensation, for essential, what is deemed essential workers. Essential workers is a phrase that's trying to pacify us as the working class to feel good about what we're doing. Every single worker is essential. Every single worker here in this country, internationally as well, every single worker on the planet is essential. We make the world run. So, with that, I also want to point out some of the hypocrisies with this uh, $13.3 billion of profits. Amazon is one of the largest subsidy receivers of tax dollars while paying almost no taxes at all. On this $13.3 billion last year, Amazon paid $162 million in taxes. That's a 1.2% tax rate. I pay almost 30% in taxes. Most people, most working class people do. And it's not just the, you know, your income tax and whatnot. Also, we're also having to pay an increase in rent because property taxes here in Milwaukee have gone up. Um, all sorts of costs are going up. We can't even get a minimum wage increase. These things are all stagnant. So it's important that what we do here today is we support the union organizers in Bessemer, Alabama. Because if we get unionized in the South and the, in the predominantly black uh, anti-worker uh, region of the United States, then we can unionize anywhere, and we can really gain worker power. So we stand with the workers. And we must do this without any hesitation. We have to support them, show our solidarity. And we have to help them and let them know we're here for Bessemer, Alabama's workers' union for Amazon. And when the greedy capitalists step on our neck, on the necks of our working class family, we have to stand up and fight back. Because like I said, workers make the world run, and workers should run the world. Solidarity forever with the Amazon Union. Thank you. Now I would like to, uh, if, if Brian is willing to come up and speak, uh, Brian's with the Wisconsin Bailout the People Movement, uh, and I'd like to hand the mic over to him. How y'all doing, fellow workers? All right, today we're here in solidarity with our fellow workers in Bessemer, Alabama, 6,000 about strong, majority black workforce, 85% plus, and we know that the liberation of all workers in this country is going to come through the black and brown struggle in solidarity with white worker allies. What Brother Matty said here, Wisconsin has now always had features of southern methods. But in the last 10 years, a lot of these have been formalized. Act 10, right to work. These are stone cold Jim Crow methods. 
There's the Bradley Foundation right down the street, the Right Wing Foundation, which has Art Pope from North Carolina on the board. In North Carolina, Virginia, collective bargaining is illegal. Although there's some advances in Virginia in the last year. And we see what the effects of this has been. Scott Walker, who is now the president of the Young Americas Foundation, uh, along with Mike Pence on the board there, is claiming that they have saved, quote unquote, $13 billion from taxpayers in this state. But that money came from public sector workers through Jim Crow methods like Act 10 and Right to Work straight out of the South. So today we understand here in Wisconsin that we, those of us in the quote unquote North, we must be in solidarity with our fellow workers in the South and all over the world. Today, this is the question. Are we, especially those of us who are white workers and white union members, have special responsibilities to make sure and to ensure that we have black worker leadership and black rank and file leadership and black and brown worker leadership and women leadership and LGBTQ leadership? This is how we're going to win, and this is how we're going to advance. And this is what we're seeing with the Amazon workers. Last weekend, a very remarkable and amazing action of solidarity. Black Lives Matter in Birmingham, Alabama, had an over 100-person car caravan to the Amazon worker plant in Bessemer. That's how we're going to win. This is how we advance and win, to make these connections. Today, it's wonderful. We have all kinds of folks here today. Y'all in Milwaukee are doing amazing work with Collectivo and the museum and organizing unions. And the reason why the Milwaukee Teachers Educational Union is even alive today under the conditions we're facing and the work you're doing is because we've moved to a social justice class struggle approach. This is how unions are going to advance. And this is what these Amazon workers are doing in Bessemer. They are reaching out to Black Lives Matter today. There are international solidarity actions all over the world. There's over 50 in the United States, all throughout the South, throughout the Midwest, East Coast, and West Coast. And we are here in Milwaukee, and we have a long, long, rich, and deep history of worker solidarity in Wisconsin. And we're not just going to go down and lay down for these bosses and these rich, uh, filthy animals like Jeff Bezos, are we? No. All right, are we going to stand for Jim Crow or oppose Jim Crow in Wisconsin? No. All right, right on. We're here today. We know that uh, there's one of the things that some of you might not know about labor law, what's happening in Bessemer is uh, February 8th, they started a mail-in ballot because of the pandemic. And this is going on for seven weeks. And it's important for the public to know that the union busting industry in this country is a multi-billion dollar business. It is outright terrorism what they do to these workers. Right now as we speak, the Bessemer workers are under siege. They are 24 hours a day, seven days a week, getting emails from their employer. They're being brought into one-on-one -on -one meetings and just being hammered. And that's why they need solidarity. Are we going to sit here and abandon our black workers and our white workers and our brothers and sisters in Bessemer while this is going on? No. Right on. So we're here today to be in solidarity. Please spread the word. The vote ends on March 29th. We need as much solidarity as we can. We posted this on Wisconsin Bail of the People. The Unemployed Council many others shared this event today. There's nine days left of voting. Please spread the word. Please get solidarity statements out and resolutions. Like Maddie said, if we win this campaign, it's going to move to a first contract campaign, and this could change labor relations in the United States for decades to come. This is really the largest campaign since probably 1937 in this country. This is it. This is the question of where do you stand in supporting these Bessemer workers? Which side are you on, like the old labor song says? We're on the side of these workers. We're in solidarity with them. We say organize the South. Solidarity, sisters and brothers. Let's keep marching. And let's make some noise right here in Milwaukee to let them know we're with them. Thank you, Brian. All right, so I just want to give a little heads up of what the plan is. We're all standing here at this corner. It's great. But I'm thinking we should get moving. We'll walk to an to and from the corner so we can get our blood moving, get some chants going. If anybody wants to start a chant, feel free to. We'll have a few more people who are going to speak out, uh, a few more labor organizers and workers that have some experiences they want to share. So we'll do that for about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll have a couple more people speak. And if you if you want to speak out, if you want a chance to speak out, if you're a representative of a local union or just any kind of organizing effort in solidarity, come, come find me. I'll pencil you in and I'll make sure you get a chance to speak. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Solidarity. 
We've, we stand in support of the union. Union, yes.